Street. 24 hours after vandals torched businesses and destroyed cars, the community gathered in the O'Reilly Auto Parts parking lot to pray for peace. Just to get the people together, not to protest or anything like that, but just to minister prayer, we felt that it would be a very, very essential thing to do. About 200 people showed up, including some children who were clearly shaken up by last night's violence. It upsets me because I don't feel that they should be killing and burning down stuff. The violence has really taken a toll on you. Yeah, and it's, in, it's by my neighborhood and I don't feel safe. Although it may be hard for children to understand the scope of what happened, the terror that transpired overnight had Joshua Randall worried about his grandmother. Hey, Grandma, if you're listening to me right now, I want you to know this is a really dangerous world. I hope, I hope you are right. Community leaders want today's prayer rally to serve as a message of hope that one day everyone can learn to solve problems without violence. They also stress the importance of working with police. We don't look at the police officers as, you know, a threat. You know, they were here, they're put here to protect and serve. Some officers even joined in on the prayer service to show they too are impacted by what's happening. Our God is 